All right. Well, they, I forget what we were doing. So while we figure that out, let's get back to clearing uh, out these wanna... goddamn myocondrial scum. I'm pretty sure you had to you had to get a gas canister from I think from the trailer, possibly. Back I go. Um and uh, why do I need a gas canister? Because I think I think because you just got past like the big car part. Yeah. Um. Oh, we're idiots. Talk to him for a second. I do need something. Lend me. Give me a car. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Douglas, give me a car. Now. Huh? What now? Yeah, give me a car. Did you look out the window? Did you hear the splatter? Yeah, I am, I, I am going to the shelter, yes, actually. Oh. You have a dog and a wife. You don't need a car. Wait, yeah, you can. You could just not give me a car. Oh, I just started leaking oil all over. You could just say no right now. You could just say no right now. It's no, no. It, it, look, you could just... You know, you can go get it. I, oh. I got my guns. Holy, oh my god, how could you... I got my dog. So I got... Uh, I read a very interesting comment about this guy and his gun collection. Yeah? Uh, Lobby key, fantastic. And it's uh, that uh, Aya mentions, like, holy shit, look at all these guns he has. They're super illegal. But due to the fact that this uh, this part of the game takes place in Arizona, none of these are in fact illegal to own without a permit. <laughs> you can totally just buy them. That's awesome. That's great. That's really <laughs> and what a weird little detail. Yep, yep, that's fantastic. All right, uh, I have a lot of BPs. So here's the thing. Now um, about that, uh, I I want to apologize for possibly telling you to uh, spread yourself out because that's not a great idea. Uh, you're okay. You haven't committed too uh, I hard. Knew, I knew it. Uh, that's you haven't fine. committed too hard. But spread, I hate spreading myself there's, out. There's two. Whoa, whoa. Why'd you do it then? No. Oh, because someone told you to do it. Someone. Someone told you to spread out. Somebody, so you just spread. Somebody made me go. Spread well, look. Out. Close up a little bit. All right. Oh, now, whoa. now, what you got to do? Should I get this rifle? I mean, I like the shotgun. So the shotgun's been doing pretty well, honestly. And then there's grenade launchers now. But about this, but a, but about the back down points. You what you what you want to do? At MP twenty. At MP twenty. Is you want to start focusing onto like what you like uh -huh. because obviously you don't have enough ex experience to spread yourself out maximum. Oh, I can't spread myself out. And that ends up like uh, possibly crippling you. And you want to get. All I want to do, I'll tell you exactly is what you want. these two: fire and water. That's it. But can I? Can I? Can I fucking? Tell oh you yeah, even go. More? What's the bullshit? You you, you, don't, you want fire? Really? Is what you want? Okay. Well, maybe I can pump the fire. All right. So pump your pyrokinesis, pyrokinesis, and your combustion. Can I strengthen you now? No. You want to pump those to level three? All both of them? Yes. Well, I can actually do this right now. Okay. That's your direction. Okay. I'm good with that. I like fire. Yes. Fire make it go boom. You want you want you want to become Laurentis. Now <laughs> Okay, yeah. You got a fucking Dark Soul shit in there. All right. So I, I could have said Ky Ky Kyokusanagi again, but you just go like, would you shut up about Kyokusanagi? No, Kyokusanagi's the shit. I love Kyo. What are you talking about? Just get more Yori in there. Yeah, but it's pur purple. Oh fuck you. No, no, he's cool. Purple's better than red. He's cool, but there's no purple fire. Purple in used to be my favorite Alpines. color. And then people at school made fun of me. Really? And then I changed it to red and blue. You fucking hack! Have you piece of shit! Has no one noticed that? Has I'm no one noticed that my favorite color changes between red and blue every time I get asked? Wow, I'm so fucking disappointed. <laughs> oh man, you lamer. Whatever. You fucking... Ugh. Purple's a great color. Dude, I I'm like an, I'm green an adult from day secure one, man and I didn't now. care what it was. And you know what my second favorite color is? <laughs> Fucking purple. It's a good one. Who cares what people say? Well, considering I was a very small child in those days, I did. Oh, fuck those people. I'm talking about like like you like purple, it's time for physical violence. Yeah, I know. <laughs> fuck those people. Oh, you know what? I guess our philosophies like demonstrate themselves in my decision to like put shit in my face and on my body and uh, what now like like you know if i cared what people think i wouldn't have gotten like piercings and shit like oh that. i, I mean, thought you meant the other thing that you no, put into your body no not that thing. No, no, no. that's that's no one knows about that's that. private yeah oh fuck you that's bedroom you grocers no listen grocers i like that that's like a bad that's like a bad guy name from a Kamen Rider show can i heal before no the okay. evil grocers anyway grocer <laughs> 
Oh, you get a lot of uh, you get a lot of MP from strong battles. But yeah, I actively am like so against fucking like letting other people dictate what you should like that I'm just like no, like everything about like oh well, the way uh, uh ugh, whatever. You just kind of lost it. No, you just kind of lost it I'm there. Just like, I'm not gonna go off on a tangent about like my family. You need, you need to create about, a, you need to create a vlog for that. And I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna go off about like. Why oh. can't I find the door? Am I blind? I'm at the wrong end of the room. Yeah, that's well, that's not. black people don't look like that. They don't wear that type of clothes and dress that way. No. I'm like, you is know, is this a door? I'm like, fuck that. Am I going fucking crazy? What is wrong with me? Uh, you're. There's one way Hold out. Hold on. There's one way out. There's one oh, the way fucking out. the map has been confusing me. I'm sleepy. That's a that's bullshit. I'm not. But uh, what was I gonna say? I actually wanted to start this off by talking about tank controls. Your favorite mechanic. Yeah, let, movement. like we can totally get off of like my shit. But that's fine. I'm, no, but, no. But just, tell me that your parent told you not to bleach your skin. No. Tell, and like, then you decided to do it anyway. <laughs> I got the Reven Lago. Listen, all I'm trying to say is. That if you like purple, then you should just like purple I, yeah. and fuck people. That, and 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 here's the thing. Well, here's here's the and, here's, and, and well, here's what's fucked up is you're like I changed it, right? But but I didn't but, change it in my heart. So then why are you saying that you did all these years later? You it sounds like you did change it in your heart. It sounds like I mentally changed. It, it sounds like everyone came at you and then your brain said, oh, I better change my light what I like. Yeah. <laughs> and now that I'm a big adult. I no longer have to do that anymore. <sighs> it's like you don't worry, you can just like blue and red alternating really quickly together. No, that's the worst thing to do. You're not supposed to do that at all. That's that's so ugh. I hate that. I hate hearing about how someone has to compromise what they like. Because of other people. Oh my wolf. Well that's a new status. Not a f oh my god, I've lost the ability to aim at all. Oh wow, um, that is—that's blind then. Yeah, that's big fuck. That's what those big glasses are. Get off of me, you little fucker! Get off! Get off! Get off! Um, I need to get out of here. Use my metabolism. You could probably well, thankfully, you could probably use a spell. Yeah, my metabolism. Oh, yeah. That's the spell I was referring also, to. Okay, I was gonna say like you don't need to aim when it comes to just wild burning fire, but I mean you don't want to waste your shit either. So. I do. I do. Oh wow, metabolism lasts. Look at that. Hey. Oh. Grim, grims. I wish I had a, like a stomp here. So the thing I wanted to talk about with tank controls is why they're good or bad. And the biggest, biggest problem that you can have with tank controls is unfortunately where most of them live, and that's the PS1 era. So you may notice, Bully, that every time I change scenes, there is about a half a second of a pause. I hate it. Uh, that's the problem with tank control. I fucking hate it. Um, when you play remake or anything modern, that shit is gone. Like that pause, it's instantaneous. Oh, okay. yeah. And all of a sudden, your character feels way more responsive. Here's the thing though, because games like Devil May Cry are instant in that, right? Whereas like you it still uses That's probably why DMC1 uses 3D background. 3D back but but here but here's the weird thing. You're holding forward, the camera changes to another angle. And then it, it'll keep for a little bit. And then suddenly you'll just start running backwards. And I'm like, but I was I was running left. No, you weren't. I was now I'm holding up. What do you want me to do? You want me to let go of the stick and readjust? Yeah, that's yeah. the problem with the with your dynamic, uh, like classical tank control camera angles combined with free movement. Free movement. Yeah. Um, now you're actually getting like the most, I guess, Resident Evil like experience you've Possible. had in a while, where you're playing a game that plays and feels like that. But you're actually playing another game that is which is evil. <laughs> straight up Resident Evil. Yeah, uh, the comparison is favorable on both points. Actually, huh. uh, they're both they're both scratching that itch somewhat. But the other thing is that um, Parasite Eve 2's tank controls are not great, um, even as far as tank controls go. And I can show you visually, which is you would not think be able to. So I'm gonna tap the forward button. You see how my character yeah. starts to wiggle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can do this. Skiing. The amount of time that it takes to do that is pretty much the number one reason why tank controls feel bad. So, I'm gonna run forward, and there's a slight delay from when I hit forward to when my character starts to run. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. That sucks for real. 
And oh, I got a recovery. Is it true that Ari used tank controls because it made it harder to fight zombies? Uh, no. He uses tank controls because they wanted to have a really, really good looking PS1 game, and that lets you use pre rendered backgrounds. Okay. But, and in, in tank control methodology, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, it is more internally consistent for the player when camera angle... Because when you run down a Resident Evil, like, second floor hallway in RE1, your camera angle changes, like, four times yeah, okay. going down there. Because there's a game... I played I, I played PC games with tank controls back in the day, Alone in the Dark, and... Um, I don't I, need this Coca-Cola. And I don't remember the name of... There's one where you play as this uh, orphan girl in really Great Britain, and it's raining all the time. And uh, that also used tank controls to like run around. Oh my god, it's the babies. This was a trap. And I and I hated it every time. Um, it really, I just couldn't understand why I couldn't just lean in the direction that the camera, the character was facing. But you know why that is um, in your heart. Certainly, but I didn't enjoy it. So when oh. you started this movement of needing tank it's a controls movement? in your life, did I create a movement? Well, you I just got a bottle. What could that bottle be? <laughs> could it be a bottle? No. Of delicious. No. Coca-Cola. Could it be? Oh, it's a mystery bottle. Oh, it's filled with water. water. Triangle. Oh. oh, triangle makes me see it. Oh yeah, that's right. I keep forget. There's a lot of hidden moves in this game. Oh, it's carbonated mineral water. See, it's so an it's an ether. The question marks now have dis been discovered. I see. Yeah. What a wonderful game. Yeah. I th yeah. A lot of this game. You said I need tank controls in my life, and people started quoting that. So, I assume it was a movie. I'd like to drive everything with tank controls, even when it makes no sense. Your body. Yeah. Well, we you do drive your body with tank controls, Wooly. No. You can only move forward or backward. But I never see you stop and, and rotate on oh, the Oh, you spot. haven't been paying attention. <laughs> As you walk down the you street. You haven't been paying attention. You hit a corner, you stop, spin, and then walk the other way. Also, this game... what well, this game came out, what, 99? 2000? I don't know if a year Uh, it does not have a 180. Which... sucks. That's important. Like, that's the one thing. RE2 is my favorite Resident Evil. That is the one thing that I cannot abide in it. The lack of a 180-degree quick turn makes parts of that game way harder than they need to be. Well, anytime, way harder. Yeah, anytime something is like precision-based, where it's like you have to run from a monster or kill things that are like in your way. Uh, there, there's, there's specifically, there's a hallway. Oh my God, mon system. I would like to examine this. It's a cash register. You gonna steal money, Aya? We just established that you're super honest, even when no one. I can't around. hit the buttons. It won't even let me hit the buttons. Guess ledger. Lots of white spaces. Hmm, guess it's the middle of the desert. Oh, I, I found a, uh, what do you call it? A handwritten membo. Membo. Problems with cash register? Don't forget. Press, uh, pound before entering a four digit code, and press total when you're done. Can't remember the number? Check the still and you will. Check the still and you will. Some irritated manager probably wrote it down for him. Okay, so first I gotta hit pound. Yeah, but you have no numbers to guess. Yeah, I know, but I don't. So you, you, okay, well, you just want to fail first? Yeah, let's. I hope failing gives you a, bot, a battle. I also hope that, actually. Every time someone fail to enter the right code into the cash register, they have to fight their way out. So check the still? Where the fuck is the still? The still could mean anything. Uh... Motel phone. I suppose nobody would mind if I made a collect call. You're making collect calls? Well, I mean, back in the day, you could just call dial zero on a playphone. Okay, do, okay, I'll talk. Have you never done that? No. Oh, there's been times. I'm when not I... a cheap coward. Okay, so there've been times that at high school we had a payphone and like I had no money to call and I'd just be like, hey, operator, can I make a collect call to this person yeah. in the city? And they'd be like, can I make a collect call to this obvious porno line? And they, whatever, they they take the charges. Now, I'm gonna assume that the still is not in this room. No. Um. However, I have. Well, let's see if anything filled in with red. It has not. So what I have the ability to do now is get those bullets near the car while I think about where it would be. A still, that's, uh, what, for booze, I yeah, imagine? Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the bar. Yeah. Right. Check the still. Need the code. Where would I get the, I'm going backwards, holy shit. Would, the, would that be underground in the shelter? Um... The lobby? Seems like it's the place that'll have information. Really? The lobby that I was just in? So, did you check everything? Oh. Uh, no. 
Yeah. But hold on, I'm gonna go get my bullets. Go get your bullets, I'm gonna... and then go back and check. Guys, I hate puzzles. Check what? The still. Everything. Get out of here, Gary, old man. Ah, oh, it's his best line ever. It's it's the. Okay, so to whoever who doesn't know what the fuck we're talking about, we're talking about Leon, aka the professional, aka Leon the professional. It's very. Simple. I have no idea why it has that many titles. Uh, international release. Oh, I hate international. And all you gotta do is just go look up Gary Oldman, everyone. Yeah. It's so fucking good. It's the best line. <laughs> uh, Bring everyone. What do you mean, everyone? Everyone! And like, every part of his face is shaking, and there's spit flying out of his mouth. Oh, it's so good. That movie's great. <laughs> oh, boy. Because just the way it starts, you know it's gonna be strong. <laughs> Right? The hallway scene, where yeah. fucking Natalie Portman's walking down the hallway, and it's like, oh. Oh. Oh, my, hmm, I don't, hmm, that door. That's not a good door. Let's keep walking this way. Mm-hmm. It's a good movie, you guys. I'm just kidding. It's a good movie. Okay. Okay, let me check, hold okay. on, let me, I'm gonna check this, I'm gonna check mm -hmm. it all. There's mm -hmm. nothing here. Mm-hmm. There's a memo. When my death, death came, came to, to Tombstone. Tombstone. Doc Holliday. <sighs> All day was 30. Wyatt Earp was? Not bad for gunmen in the Old West. Secret to long life, good friends, and good luck. Okay. All day was 30, and Earp was... Are you... Are you a fan of the Old West? No. Will you be my Huckleberry? What the fuck? How old is... What? There's uh, a... There was a picture of Wyatt Earp. I know. It. Do you remember where it was? Uh, it was... Uh, it was... Where was it? It was in one of the motel rooms. Ah, oh, jeez. This is the fun part. This yeah, it was. You know what RE7 doesn't have? This. This exact form of puzzle. Run over to the other room no to get, longer the, to get exists. part of the clue. Also, in the default difficulty, like... Is I, every solution right in front of you? Yeah. And you just have to piece it together? Well, actually, honestly, the puzzle solution, the puzzles have been pretty... Mo uh, yeah. ...tame. Mo uh, what motel room is that? This is number two motel. Yeah, that's I think that's a good one. Oh my god, I'm so smart. You gotta find that picture. Smart. Oh, there it is. It's wired up right there. Why? Why? Uh, 48 to 1929. That's, uh, that's, uh 30, 4, 52. Wait, hold on. Okay. That doesn't answer my question. Okay, Corral. Okay, he was born in 1848. Yeah. So that would make him 33 in 1881. Yay, 30, 33. I did it. There you go. I did it all by myself. You're the smarty. I sure am. So the thing about the red, the red and blue thing earlier, I'm thinking of like, I think I forgot that that was the real story for a while, because that was old. I forgot the purple was my favorite. Are there color. other things in your life where you've changed your values because other people have, like, be honest? I'm trying to think. I don't. Th I think that's the big one. Is it? Oh, I gotta examine this. Cause I, I just I'm because I'm thinking back like what was the yeah. most likely thing that I would fight about, and it was the Nintendo 64 suck shit, and I got into massive brawls over that shit because it did. Man, there you go, perfect. Fucking nailed it, first try. But the color so, thing that was like elementary school. That was like because I, I I even remember like as as late as like fucking like college. Oh cool, I got the master key. I can examine the rest of the rooms. Fantastic. I remember as late as like college when I'd be like, we'd be going out for drinks or whatever, and then sometimes I'd be like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I want a daiquiri. Yeah. Be like, oh, you want a daiquiri? I'm like, yes. I want a fucking mango daiquiri. I would like an apple teeny, please. And I'm gonna sip it out of this goddamn chalice. You got a beef. Wait, you're you wait, you drink a daiquiris out of a chalice? No, but I'm saying that's <laughs> weird. That's way weirder. But I'm saying I would. <laughs> my, that's my point is that's much more bizarre, actually. Fuck you. This is delicious. I'm gonna drink it. Is it delicious though? It tasted really good. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever had a daiquiri. Yeah, at the place that closed down where we used to have our early. Uh, oh, so you're meals. talking about tricks? No, no, that no. That no, fucking no, no. place? No, 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 no. I was talking about. Um, I can't believe that place closed down. They had the fucking market cornered on underage drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cine Express was nearby. Okay, yeah. They, no, had, they had the Godfather nachos back in the day. They were the best. And you get that, and you did make a sick daiquiri. So here's I, I should I should actually explain that a little bit. So there in there in my sejep, which is like a college. Um, hey, this guy's chilling. He's yeah, peaceful. He's dead. He's a dead bitch. 
uh, there was this place called uh, the fucking bar named Tricks. I mean, it, it, they changed their name. They used to be something else, but... Yeah. Uh, and the deal with that thing is that Sejap is basically the equivalent of, I guess, 12 American 12 and 13, yeah, 12 grade and 13. wise. It's, what we do over here is really cool, actually. Um, grade 12 and 13 are specialized in a program you want so that you don't waste time. Now, that means that the population of the Sejap would range anywhere from the age of 16 to 25. Yeah. Which meant... And that bar was like it. It was connected via a tunnel. You could get. You oh could, yeah. You could get there without going outside. Straight from class. Absolutely. So, like the 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 market being cornered on underage drinking, very cornered. <laughs> Nobody gave a goddamn fuck. And the layout was particular in that they had. You could hide. You walk. People. You walk through the bar. Right, you go and then you pass all the, the the fucking drunken people hanging out on the, um, the slot machine, um, whatever digital slot machines there. Mm -hmm. And then around the back corner was the pool table, and then all the arcades. So like, if you walked and just like unassumingly took your place in the arcade room, no one would be looking at you. Oh my god, questioning you or carding you, and. uh... That that was the roughest it's ever been. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Well, you, you there you go, back down points for real. And so uh, all you do is you, you and your friends would be back there, and then one person would go up and get some drinks from the next room, mm -hmm. and they'd order for everybody, and then bring them into the back room where no one was, where all the arcades and pool tables were. Oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah, that's a really good system. Yeah. And it's oh man, that's where I first had my first beer. Wow. Yeah. And then I got shut down somehow. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder yeah. how that happened. Reminds me of, uh, the fucking university that I went to. Is, is it because the cops broke in and just started shooting at everyone and everything? Yeah. Remember the university that I went to? The fucking, um... Oh my god, that's the worst. That's the worst. I hate that. Well, now they're coming. Oh. Ooh, it gets really bad. That's the worst. I need to switch to my goddamn you uh, to, yeah, you do. shotgun. You should have you should have had it out. Yeah. I mean that's far from the worst in terms of like I actually can't see anything. I'm gonna fucking get killed right now, right here with better time. There you go. There you go. Second time's a charm. You, you this is crazy difficult. Yeah. Uh, you maybe should go get out of there. I, I, if you can, you have one more shot. You have one more shot. In the door. In the door. In the oh door. my god. Why is that so tough? I don't know. So check it out, though. Um, don't run into the next screen. Kill all the the butterflies, and then do I'm all trying. Yeah. The the when I aim, it automatically targets the guys at the other end, and not, not me. I'll have to come back, I suppose. Well, <sighs> what you want? Well, now that you have the master key, you want to check all the rooms with yeah, the master I key because you have access to everything. Firefly. Oh, cool. I guess I can so, rock this for a bit. Uh, I'm near death, and I really wish there was a way for me to uh, get my shit back. Wait, I have 6,600 BP? I could buy stuff later. Okay. There's no resting by going back to Crazy, it. right? That's, wow. Isn't that nuts? That's, that's pretty nuts, yeah. Um, so no, that, that, it's funny, because like, as, as bad as that place was, they got nothing on uh, Bar Diana. I've never been. Well, that's the, they're gone now. But that was the they're gone because of the crimes. Because of the actual crime, new crimes were invented and spawned. I see. The, Bar Diana was the ultimate dive. It was a dive's dive, mm. and it was right in the heart of downtown Montreal. And that was the place that was notorious for uh, <laughs> one all black inside and outside, painted everywhere, so you can't see what's going on. Two big shuttered windows while it was active. So that you can't see what's going on. Three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Active sex work being sold outside. Okay, that's every, well, that's fine. Every time. Yeah. I mean, what are you gonna? You yeah, gonna, you gonna on, not have your sex work. Well, no. Just on your way into the door, it was it was there, right? It, they're just they're letting you know. Yeah. And you know. Uh, and inside was you know whatever substance you were looking for. Uh, and so that place was known as like the fucking ultimate. Just Is that monster in the wall. Uh, it might be. Oh, wow. That was a different kind of monster. What the fucking fuck? Oh, come on. So, yeah, basically, you'd be looking at, like, things like the thing you're trying to shoot right now, crawling out, 
and being like, hey, man, you want anything? No, I'm good. You sure? I'm actually pretty sure. Okay, well, just let me know. Just let me know. And you know what? You know who let him know? Everybody. The police commissioner of Montreal. Oh, he came down himself. Was caught. Oh, yeah! Buying coke <laughs> in Bar Diana. And they fucking- It was a sting, right? God. It was the biggest dude. sting ever. Dude, they fucking stormed the place. <laughs> It was something. Hey, boss, what are you doing? Oh, hey, oh, no. Yeah, so then they they shut it down, and then it came back as, like, a little, like, kid-friendly diner. Shut with, up. With, like, chicken wings and two oh, kids on the logo going, like, hey, fuck. come get some of the Toto's barbecue. And then that just died, and the owners were like, okay, fuck this. Like, like we're, we're, uh, we're, we gotta lay low. We gotta get the fuck out of Dodge. It cracks me up because there's so many fucking places downtown that are so obviously fucking crooked. Like... Uh, I've told this story before, but it's like a friend of mine's like, Pat's 30. Let's hang into a strip club. He's never actually been, right? Okay, let's go down the list of strip clubs. Let's try and find one that doesn't advertise beds on site. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Uh, Harder, more uh, difficult than you would imagine. But that's why people come up to Montreal from the States. Yeah. Because they're like, what? Young, hot girls. Also, rooms paid by the hour. And it's like... Not to, uh, and well, in general, they'll, they'll have the big neon signs that are just like uh, touching okay in French, you yeah. know? And again, that's the biggest thing is just like, they can touch you. And like, yeah. A toilet. Come to think of it, the well uh. was filled with water too. Maybe dry field isn't as dry as it seems. How would you have a toilet with no water, Aya? How would this happen? Yeah. Why would you. Why would you do this? We're a regular French Quebecois Amsterdam. A little bit. A little bit. But portrait of a young man, Billy the Kid. Wow, okay. He was just like Robin Hood. It's, it's very rustic. Remember when Robin Hood murdered all those people? Yeah, shot in the gut, bleeded out real slow. Apparently that Robin, mo Robin Hood movie with fucking Kevin Costner was supposed to have, like, the Sheriff of Nottingham be the goddamn hero. Oh, wow. And then he forced it to get changed. Uh -huh. It's funny because I, I was was one of the first movies I remember watching as a kid in Grenada. Actually, I watched that in Grenada, and I was bored out of my mind. Yeah, I didn't understand. What His accent is fucking all over the place. It's so bad. I was way too young for that. Yeah, way too young for this terrible movie. I was also way too young for Grenadian theaters. Oh really? <laughs> I did. I would never even like. I think I, that that would be a thing. Yeah. No. Just I remember like. It wasn't the most comfortable, great viewing experience, but it was what you had. Mm. You know, it was what you had. Anyway, um, I really... It's back to scoping out for gas. I'm trying to, I'm not too sure what the, the deal with this town is and, like, all these cowboys, but I guess they really... So, uh, out in the American West, they fantasize over the times when you could just shoot your neighbors. That's what I get from this. From this fantastical retelling of the old West. Hey, so you know, they long for Westworld to be real again. You know how you're supposed to like put your back to back with the guy you want to kill, walk ten paces, turn around and shoot? I do know that. Why would anyone ever not just immediately turn around and shoot? Oh, I know why. Why? That's actually a pretty good explanation. Because rules like that, dueling rules, come into play to try and tone down the fucking rate of rampant murder, right? Okay. It's like, so, okay, if we're gonna have rampant, non-stop murder in our town, we're gonna at least have some rules. I walk up to you, I slap you with the glove. Yeah, you say some words, you know, what have you. If you were to, in fact, duel at high noon, take one pace, turn around, and blow that guy away, it is to be assumed that the town will murder you immediately. Okay. That the well that's is what there, I always figured. I, it, right? Because it's like if you're gonna do this, you do it by the rules. But is there is there a witness? You know what I mean? Like, is there a person whose job it is a to box for linen. What's under the linen? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing of interest. Thank you, game. Thank you. A spinning drum dryer. I always forget my clothes in the dryer and they get all wrinkled. A dryer. <laughs> This is what they were talking about. This is what people were talking about. This is good. This is good. I like. Look at this massive Resident Evil room, rack with some fruit preserves. Nothing of interest. Okay. I always wonder, like, is there a third that is supposed to stand there, witness, and if you don't do it properly, that guy kills you? I would imagine. Oh, gas can. I got it. The Jerry can. Oh. Shocker. Because I understand UFC rules back in the day when they'd have the fucking champ as the ref. 
you know? That's awesome. Where it'd be like, okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get oh it on. Oh my god, you know what I noticed just now? What? Look at the- look at my mini-map when I cast spells. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Use that. Wow. Use it to that's, inform your decisions. That's big damage. But, uh, you know, the- the- the, per the person that's witnessing the god- that's witnessing the fucking sh like, shootout. What if you just shoot them? Well, hopefully... Is there a second witness? Oh, there should be many witnesses at all times. Hmm... Honestly... That, cause that makes the system work, but I don't know if... Because I always see two guys alone. Dueling is a problem. In movies, and I don't know if that makes sense. Like, I feel- I have a strong feeling that some historical person could back me up on this, but like most modern institutions of law, were basically invented, like, uh, innocent until proven guilty, all that shit. Yeah. So, like, cause, like, blood feuds are becoming a problem all the time in all societies Dude. everywhere. Okay, so here's the- here's where I'm gonna, uh, do no justice to a real story. Damn! But, and I'm gonna totally misremember it, but I was- Good. good. I, I was reading about dueling on Wikipedia. Say it wrong on purpose. Yes. I was reading, reading, reading about this, like, a while ago. And I remember getting into, like, wanting to find out how some of this shit went down, and I remember the most recent one was crazy. It was like the most recent duel was it was in the 1900s, mm -hmm. and there was um, in the modern-ish era. Yeah, and I want and I forgot which whether it was here in, in in whether I was reading about it here in Canada or somewhere else, but it was like basically two people had a disagreement, and they agreed to a duel, and the the law still stated that you were allowed to do this, and. They basically, they got so pissed at each other that they, it was in public and they yelled and screamed and were like, Alright, fuck you, you're going down. Duel time. This is how we do it old school. And then they met to duel, and they were both so scared that they both cowered it out. And basically went, no. Like, I think someone might have tried to pull out his gun out and, and took a shot, but it, it, he kind of like, just backed down. And it was one of those, like, meet me at the, at the schoolyard at 3 o'clock, yeah. and then you both get there, and then you're just kind of, like, pushing each other And everyone bit. is there. And no one, Everyone is there yeah. to watch and you. And so they're just pushing and just kind of getting up in each other's face, but no one swings. It was one of those total swing first, nigga, swing first moments. I feel like I've seen this duel on World Star many times. And it never happened. They both cowered it out, and they got way too scared, and then just, and then basically... Backed down and agreed to like to leave it alone. Now, for as much as like uh, dueling to the murder is a barbarous old practice, I have to appreciate the moxie and internal fortitude of people willing to turn their back on someone who wants to murder them. <laughs> right? <laughs> and the because of the problem you were talking about earlier, it's like, well, they could just turn around and kill me. I wouldn't be able to stop them if they did. They could even turn on nine. Oh, I had uh, I had some colas in here. But the idea that like you can s go to sleep on this on this this anger, wake up oh, right. the next morning, My shit's full. I forgot. eat a shitty breakfast, and then be like, "Nah, today's still a good day to die for yeah. this argument. It wasn't petty enough to 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 call it off." Now I'm probably wrong. Okie dokie, I'll talk to Hal. I'm probably wrong, but I assume a lot of the uh, moxie in regards to dueling happened to be because life expectancy was not that high. And if you were like 48, you're like, I am literally going to die in two years. Time to settle all beefs in the coolest manner possible. <laughs> I'll be sure, but at the same time, you have to be confident in your combat ability. You know? Combat ability? You kidding? Ten paces? I bet most duels ended with nobody hitting shit! Like... <laughs> I mean, I feel like, I feel like, uh, the idea of trial by combat, in general, is... Like, oh, it's backwards as fuck. Hey, if you're able to kill the other well, guy, that's what I saying. guess that means you were right all along, Which right? Which is why Game of Thrones is awesome, because they have a whole thing about how it's like, Oh, really? I'm wrong? Well, trial by combat. And then everyone goes, Oh, come on! Really? <laughs> Rick, come on! Yeah. No. I choose guts as my fucking no, uh, as my combat she, champion. But he's so cool! Come on! Oh, can I? Okay, I'm gonna grab gun belt. Yeah. He's he, only in the human form, not in the dragon one. <laughs> so it's so it's fair. Oh, okay, God. And that's the end of that, and that's why the fucking royals never get in trouble. Yeah. Might controls everything. It's like literally divine might. Oh, the lines would sever. This is no longer a save point. Right.